Hello friends, in last video we discussed about delete clause, in that we discussed basic delete, delete with where clause and limit limiting the delete. Now in this video we will discuss about multi-table delete using join clause, delete versus truncate and delete with foreign key. So let us begin uh, today's video with delete versus truncate. Now delete and truncate both are going to remove all the rows from the table but whenever we are going to use delete that one is simply going to delete all the rows from the table it is not going to reset auto increment index while we are if we are going to use truncate then in that particular case it is going to reset the auto increment index fine so uh, here I am having one table, that table is sales table and in that I am having uh, the list of orders, fine, 15 orders are over here. So if I am going to apply delete function over here, then in that case delete clause over here, then in that case simply it is going to delete all the data from that, uh, all the data from this, but it is not going to uh, reset the auto increment index fine let us see so this one is going to uh, delete all the data sorry uh, the syntax would be like delete from sales fine so this one has removed all the data from sales table now, whenever I am going to insert the data into a sales table, let us see, insert into sales, values, now I am going to provide customer ID say 1. Uh, customer name is say uh, pages then uh, total uh, bill amount is say uh, 1200 and total items is say uh, 5 fine let us execute this query fine this query has been executed now let us see the result in this so you here you can see the order id is 16 Previously, it was ended with 15. So, here it started from 16. Fine. Now, apply. Uh, let us apply the truncate. Fine. So, I am going to apply truncate. And then table name. So, the table name is sales. So, this one has removed all the data. This one has removed all the data from the sales table. Now let me insert the data into the in this table. Insert into sales values. Uh, customer ID. Suppose I'm going to insert one. Pages one two zero zero and number of items say five. Fine. So the data has been inserted. Now look at the table. So here you can see the order ID is starting from 1. So the truncate is going to reset the auto increment uh, in the table. Fine. Now let us move further. The next part that we have is multi-table delete using join clause. Now suppose I am having one database and that in that particular database I am having two tables one is person another is say pets fine so what I want to do is I want to delete I want to delete a pet I want to delete a pet of the person named Nimesh fine so uh, this is the ID of a person and in pets I am having owner ID that is a foreign key that is actually a foreign key and um, it is not exactly assigned but it is going to be considered as a foreign key because that ids are taken from that particular table fine so what i need to do is i need to perform the join operation i need to perform 
the join operation fine so let us uh, perform the join operation uh, in delete clause fine so the query will be like delete now i'm going to take uh, one alias name for pets that is a p2 uh, from person p1 that p1 is uh, the alias name for the person table and then i'm going to apply the join pets p2 on p1 dot now which is the common attribute or which is the common column in both the table or which or we can say which is the key element key attribute which is common in both the tables that is from p1 it is id and from p2 it is owner id fine and what we want to do is we want to delete the pets of and the uh, pets of nemes so it will be like where p1 p1 dot name equals to nemes so this one will remove the data from p2 that p2 is pets this one is going to remove the data from p2 only fine so let us now let us see the result fine so the query has been executed now let us look at the table over here uh, the id of nemes is 3 and in pets we don't have the owner id 3 so the pet of nemes has been removed from this table fine so this way we can use join now one more thing over here suppose if we want to delete the data from both the tables from uh, pets table as well as we want to remove the data from person table so in this particular case simply we have to write the name of both the tables first so it will be like delete p1 comma p2 p1 comma p2 from people sorry person p1 join pets p2 on p1 dot p1 dot id equals to p2 dot id p2 dot owner id fine where where p1 dot name equals to say tina fine so this one is going to remove the data from p1 and p2 that is from person and pets fine now let us execute the query fine so the query has been executed now let us check the table so in person we don't have the name tina that was on uh, that was having uh, id number 1 and at the same time we don't have any data having id owner id 1 so this way we can use uh, we can delete the data from both the tables fine now uh, let us have one more uh, discussion about the delete and foreign key fine so i'm having the same table the replica of same table where i'm having the person's detail and i'm having pets detail fine so here uh, owner number 3 is having one pet and in person and in person i am having uh, at number 3 i am having person nimesh fine now if i am going to delete if i am going to delete the data of nimesh then automatically then automatically the data from pets should be removed fine so uh, i am having id number 3 in person table and in pets i'm having id number 3 and uh, that uh, that person is having one pet that's named lepo and its color is black and white so if i'm going to remove nimesh so by default it should remove uh, id number 3 in uh, pets also but uh, if i'm going to remove this let us have the query for that say so delete from uh, person 
where name equals to Nimesh. Fine. So what this one is going to do, this one is going to remove one row from person table that is called Nimesh. Ye person table may say Nimesh नाम की जो रो है वो निकाल देता है यहां पे क्या है आईडी 1 2 एंड 4 अभी हम पेट्स टेबल में जाके देखते हैं नाउ इन दिस टेबल व्हाट हैपेंड यू कैन सी ओनर आईडी 3 इज देयर बट ओनर आईडी 3 इज डेटा इज नॉट अवेलेबल ओनर आईडी 3 इज डेटा इज नॉट अवेलेबल इन पर्सन टेबल सो दिस वन लीड्स टू इनकंसिस्टेंसी ऑफ द डेटाबेस ये क्या हुआ ये डेटाबेस की इनकंसिस्टेंसी हो गई यहां पे तीन नंबर के पर्सन का डेटा नहीं है और उधर उस टेबल में तीन नंबर के पर्सन के नाम पर एक पेट है तो हम वो डेटा ढूंढ नहीं पाएंगे ये इनकंसिस्टेंसी दिस इज कॉल्ड इनकंसिस्टेंसी इन द डेटाबेस फाइन सो व्हाट वी कैन डू इज वी कैन असाइन वी कैन असाइन फॉरेन की in pets we can assign foreign key in pets fine so before assigning a foreign key in pets first i need to remove this particular row because this one this particular data is not available in person table so when i'm going to assign a foreign key it will create it will generate an error fine let us see how it is going to generate an error so i'm going to modify this pets table i'm going to modify this pets table fine so for modifying the schema of a table we are having one clause that is called alter fine so that will be alter table and then table name so table name is pets and uh, what we want to do, do is we want to add constraint to a specific column so it will be like add constraint and what we want which which constraint we want to add we want to add foreign key we want to add foreign key and that key we want to add to owner id because that owner id will be a foreign key for this particular table fine and that is going to reference that is going to reference person table id Fine. So, person tables ID is going to be a foreign key, is going to be a foreign key in uh, pets table. Fine. And one more thing that we need to add over here is on delete cascade. So, whenever we are going to delete something, whenever we are going to delete something from person, automatically the data connected with uh, that particular person will be removed from pets. Fine. But now here, uh, let me copy this because this one is not going to be executed because uh, owner ID 3's data is not there in person table. Fine. Fine. So we got an error. So now what we have to do is we simply need to remove this data and execute, execute this query again. Fine. Fine, so this query has been executed now. So in pets table, let us see the structure of the pets table. So here, now owner ID has become a foreign key. Now, if I'm going to remove something, if I'm going to remove something from uh, uh, from person table, automatically it will be, it is going to remove the data in uh, pets table. Fine. So here, in person table, I'm having uh id number one tina and c is uh, her gender is female fine and in again in pets if i am going to check i'm having the owner i'm having the pets with owner id one fine so let me delete the data from person so delete from person where name equals to Tina. Fine. Tina's ID number is 1. 
okay okay so the data from person is deleted you can see here tina's name is not there when more thing is over here you can see in pets table tina's detail has been removed fine so this way foreign key is going to help us to maintain the consistency in the database fine so uh, today we discussed about uh, delete and truncate we discussed about the multi table delete using join clause and we discuss about the foreign keys uh, uh, in case of delete stay tuned for more videos and please don't forget to subscribe the channel thank you very much